Daniel, and see what he said about this same what you read. Read it again from the top. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. So this wicked man is going to speak great words against the Most High. How? By changing the Sabbath day. Right. That's one way how he can speak great words against the Most High. Right. The Most High day is the Sabbath day. He said, uh-uh. We're going to change that because we are something God. And we're going to put ourselves up in God. And we're going to change your image and make ourselves to be God. He's he going to speak great words against the Most High. Read. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And he moved the saints of the Most High out. It said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Read that part again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the wicked that the hand is the earth is given into, he told our people to worship Sunday. Sunday worship, which is the which is a pagan custom. This is why we do it, because today the earth that we're living in is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay? Read. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Who is the real judges of the earth? The so-called black man is the real judge on the earth. But he covered your face. Who is the ultimate judge of the earth? Jesus Christ. He covered the face of Christ and made him what? A Caucasian. He covered the, fire, the, the faces of the angels and made him what? Caucasian. He covered the faces of the prophets in the Bible. When you read or you see images, they are covered with Caucasian faces. But who is the real judge of the earth? You black and Hispanic men are the real judges of the earth. That's, That's why we out here to come and show y'all that. Come and teach that to y'all so y'all can wake up and judge the earth properly. You right. understand that? But it's going to start with yourself. Then you get your house in order. All right? Uh, Read. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25. Uh -huh. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Uh -huh. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Come on. And think to change times and laws. Okay. Is that it? And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. Uh huh. So call it and read it again, bro. You got a question, don't you? Yeah. All right, I'm going to deal with your question and I'm going to finish this real quick. We're going to show you right now. All right, read it again. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25. Uh huh. And he shall speak great words. So the same wicked man we, we read about in Job 9 and 24, it said that what? The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Who rule the earth? What nation do people rule the earth? So called Caucasian. The so called Caucasian man, he rule the earth today. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. How is he wicked? Just look at his track record. Bring look it at out. what he's done on the face of the earth. He polluted the ozone layer. He took us over here, forced us, and stole us, and made us work for, for years for free. He took the land from our brothers and they now. We're going to read Daniel and see what he said about this same wicked man. Read it again from the top. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. So this wicked man is going to speak great words against the Most High. How? By changing the Sabbath day. Right. That's one way how he speak great words against the Most High. Right. The Most High day is the Sabbath day. He said, uh-uh. We're going to change that because we ourselves is God. And we're going to put ourselves up as God. And we're going to change your imagery and make ourselves to be God. Right. He's going to speak great words against the Most High. Right. Read. Yeah. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And he wore the saints of the Most High out. How? Who was the saints of the Most High and how were they wore out? By this white man. By this wicked man that the Bible just called them. That, okay. Uh, not so much, but how? 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 How have the saints of the Most High been wore out? First, let's get who the saints is. Hold that. The saints have been worn out by believing the doctrine that the so-called white man had given to these wicked pastors. Okay, okay. That's 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 some that's that's a little borderline. -ish. But we going first. We gotta find out who the saints is. Anybody know who the saints is? Who are the saints? The saints is us. Who is us? The nation of Israel is the saints. Y'all understand that? But we're going to prove it out of the Bible because the Bible says prove all things. I can be like your Christian pastor and just and quote, I mean, say things all day. But we're going to read it out of God's mouth so y'all know it's real. All right? Give me that. The book of Psalms, chapter 148, verse 14. Read out. He also exalted the horn of his people, uh -huh. the praise of all his saints, uh -huh. even a 
unto the children of Israel. Y'all hear that? The nation of the children of Israel is the saints of God. Read it again. He also exalted the horn of his people. He exalted the horn of his people through Christ. Read. The praise of all his saints. And the praise of all his saints. Now he's going to tell you who they are. Read. Even of the children of Israel. So the children of Israel is the saints of the Most High God. All right? Y'all understand that? Because the soul said, it's a song how it go, or when the saints go marching go in. in. Oh, how I like to be in that number. Everybody can't go marching in with the saints. That's right. Teach. It's only, the saints is only the nation of Israel. If you outside that nation, you ain't no saint, and you ain't getting in there. You're not marching in. Read All it. right? Now, go back to Daniel. All right? So we, now we found out who the saints are. Read. Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. Come on. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Okay. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. So the, now we found out who the saints are. How do we? How will the saints wear out? I'm gonna tell y'all how the saints will wear out. The night started in 1492 That's when right. Christopher Columbus and the conquistadors came over here. And uh, what did they do to the land again? What's the word? Colonial. The colonial, colonial. They colonialized line. the land. They colonialized, colonized. colonized the land. And and what? They took the, all the resources from it from the uh, natives that was here. Okay. They uh, which. Uh, Puerto Rico, Santa Domingo, uh, Mexico. Mexico. He took all the resources, all right? Yeah. That's when it started in 1492, okay? This went, because those are the saints that we're talking about. We're just giving y'all today's name so you can understand what we're talking about, okay? So those are saints that he walked. Well, then it started with us, the so called blacks, in 1619, oh, with the transatlantic slave trade, when we were forced to, and, 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 and whooped on our backs, okay? When you look at this, y'all see all this? This is how he would have saints out. Okay, you see what? What we got? What do we got? We got human zoos over here. Okay, this is how we would have saints out. You got when, when we didn't when we didn't pick enough cotton, they you know what I'm saying they whipped our backs. Okay, when we didn't when we didn't get enough resources, they cut off our hands and so forth. Those are ways on how he would have saints out. Y'all understand it? You hey, so y'all understand how he would have saints out? Read. Really? That's good, so. All right. And think to change times uh -huh. and laws. So how did he change times and laws? He changed, y'all, it just happened, what, a week or two ago? What was that, daylight saving daylight time? Daylight saving time, yep. That's not biblical. You got this man who set himself up as God, he changed the time and the laws. One law, God said that what, a man should not lay with another man. It's in the Bible. We're going to show you that, hold that. We're going to show you how he changed laws. We're going to show you the laws of God and see 20 and 13 Leviticus. Leviticus 20 and 13, in other words. Hey, because look, I want y'all to listen to what we come bringing out. These are the words of God at the end of the day. They can't be disputed. We ain't like the Christian past, all right? Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 13. Come on. If a man also lie with mankind, uh -huh. as he lieth with a woman, uh -huh. both of them have committed an abomination. Uh -huh. Bring it out. They shall surely be put to death. Give me the other one in, uh, what is that, 18? Or thou shalt not lie with mankind? Uh, 18? Don't lie with Yeah, 1822. That's a little bit more to the point. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 22. Remember what we're dealing with, gentlemen. We're dealing with, he changed time and he changed laws. This wicked man changed time and he changed laws. We're going to get a law what God said that we should walk in. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 22. Come on. Thou shalt not lie with mankind uh -huh. as with womankind. Come on. It is an abomination. You hear what, that's, the, that's what God said. A man shall not lie down with another man as he's supposed to lie down with a woman. A woman is not supposed to lie down with another woman as she's supposed to lie with a man. Is, who, who, wrote, who wrote this? God himself. That's right. These are the instructions on how you must walk. Okay? Now go back to James. That's the instruction God gave the nation of Israel. Now let's see. Daniel 7 and 25. Read it. And think to change times and law. We just read a law that God gave us on the way we should do, on the way we should go. What did the so-called white man just change a few years back? He just did he not just put it in same-sex marriage as legal? Yeah. Is he oh, not yeah, pushing so, the agenda? Yeah. So, Obama. 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 He used, yeah. and he used a puppet, Obama, to do it. Okay? Yeah. But still, nonetheless, that's what he put in the earth. That's how he changed the laws of God. Y'all understand that? And he changed yeah. the times of God. We showing you that this man is the, the image, the man of the uh the beast that the Bible speaks of. Read. Bring it out. And they shall be given into his hand until the time uh -huh. and times 
and the dividing of time. And we are in, contrary to popular belief, most of our people think that they are free. That's right. Most of our people think they're free because we don't have shackles and chains on no more. Jeez. But we are still in the hand of this man, okay? Y'all understand that? So you can understand, water is a natural resource. Why is it that we got to pay for it? You understand that? That's called a form of captivity. You got to, you yeah, get taxed. Everything we do, we get taxed on it. Thank you. You understand that? Say if they'll check $800 a week. By the time you get it, it's going to be what? six seventy-five. You understand that? He take his cut off before you even see your money. Bring it out. You Jeez. are in, under his hands. God said we would be hey, under his hands. Right. Give me that Baruch and 3 and the Baruch 3 and 8. Because we are still in the hand of our captors. All right? And we're going to read it out of the Bible. He said we should be given into his hand at four time. All right? Baruch 3, verse 8. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Bring it out. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. You see that? Read. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments. You, you hear that? So it says that we are yet this day. Behold, I mean, look, we are yet this day right now in the land of our captivity. And we are what? Subject unto We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.